good to see you class this is harshi your sst mentor today i am taking up chapter number 2 earth surface of your course book time travelers acknowledge series by amit publication house so this is a warm up exercise so get ready for this right you need to find the way to reach each other right this is a very interesting exercise do on your own kids now let's start the chapter most of the earth surface is covered with water that we have learned in our last chapter of this book that almost 3/4 part of the earth is covered with water and the earth is the only planet that is known to support life because earth has land water and air and these things are very essential to live so let's learn about what the earth made from and where it came from right so we'll discuss the magellan's journey earlier men used to think that uh, nowadays we know that earth is round in shape right so earlier people used to think that the earth is not round and it is flat and they would fall down from the edges if they traveled too far yes and what happened about 500 years ago there was a portuguese sailor portuguese sailor named ferdinand magellan this person this is the picture of ferdinand magellan so near about 500 years ago a portuguese sailor named ferdinand magellan he started his journey from spain and he kept sailing for many days yes he started his journey through water the voyage voyage means if you are traveling in water right so the voyage was long and dangerous after many years his ship reached the same place where it started from like this is the place this is the spain from this place magellan started his journey and after he kept sailing for many years and after many years he reached to the same place from where he started his journey right ag means again he reached to the spain so this shows that earth is round in shape magellan's journey proved that earth is round in shape and later on what happened many astronauts reached to the space and they also uh, declared that earth is round in shape the earth shape is spherical yuri gagarin was the first astronaut to travel into space remember this yuri Gagarin was the first astronaut right so astronauts also confirmed that earth is round in shape so how do we study earth it is a picture of a globe globe is nothing but it is the model of earth so it is the model of earth a globe is a small round model it is a small round model of the earth and it tells us about the oceans continents countries right we can easily locate the countries places oceans right but it has some disadvantages disadvantages means we cannot see the whole earth as once yes we can see first half at once and then we need to rotate it and the second half is visible also it is very difficult to carry this globe from one place to other so this is the disadvantages of the globe so to overcome this map has designed and map is again to solve this problem map uh, were designed and map is what it is the drawing of 
earth it is the drawing of earth but where it's on paper it's a flat it's on flat paper right and you can easily fold it and keep it in your pocket and take away from one place to another right it is so simple and the disadvantages that was in the case of globe was that you can now see the map of the earth at once so this this problem is again solved in the map so a map helps to study different landforms and water bodies on earth's surface more closely and we can see the entire earth at once yes at a glance one glance on a map and can be carried easily from one place to another so you can see this is the political map of india you can easily locate the states the different landforms water bodies in the map right now ai fact kids what is ai ai is artificial intelligence right ai for earth placed cloud at ai technologies in the hands of those working to address environmental changes so ai is very useful to uh, address the environmental changes now we can hold that we have learned a book of map is called atlas yes and there are so many different kinds of maps that is present in the book and this book is called atlas now natural features and different landforms different landforms means as we all know that 3/4 of earth is covered with water only 1% or 1/4 is the land yes the surface of land is not same it is uneven you will not find a same kind of land everywhere on the earth some lands are high some are low so you'll find high and low different kinds of lands right high lands and low lands from the natural features of the earth right high lands like mountains hills plateaus and plain lands are plains are low lands high lands you can easily look at mountains and hills these are high land they are high mountains can you find out the difference between the mountains and the hills mountains are very high and they are like they are narrow at the top and mountains are always covered with snow hills are they uh, hills are not as bigger as mountains and it is not narrow at the top you can see it and hills are not covered with snow so these are the difference next kind of uh, landforms are plateaus and plains plains means it is the low land and again plateaus are the high land so land is not even on earth some area have high land and some area on earth have plain plains or low land got it kids all right so large area of land on the earth are continents now what is continent let's uh, see uh, or uh, let's uh, repeating now we all know that 1/4 of the earth is land only so these land masses are called continents this area means one fourth area is the continent and the water bodies means three fourth area is covered with water so these have this area or three fourth area 
there are so many oceans yes so water bodies like ocean so we can broadly divide earth into earth has oceans and continents all right oceans again we have five oceans taken and we have seven continents continents is nothing but the land masses right so let's discuss about ocean first ocean are large bodies of water on the earth ocean is the largest water body right so they have salty water we cannot use it we have learned in the science that most of the water present in the ocean but cannot be used by living things why because this water is salty only 2% of water can be used by living things the pacific ocean like we have five oceans earth is divided into oceans and continents so first discuss let's see oceans right oceans we have five oceans so we can make like this like first is pacific ocean pacific ocean is the deepest ocean of the world right and the second is atlantic ocean atlantic ocean next is indian ocean then it is arctic ocean and the last or the fifth one is antarctic yes so all you know the name of the ocean we have five ocean Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Antarctic Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. So, these oceans cover the three-fourth part of our earth. Very good. Have you understood kids? Shall we move ahead? Good. So, let's discuss about continents. We know that continents are the land masses. Yes, and we have seven continents yes and the names are asia africa north america south america antarctica europe and australia are seven continents yes seven continents and how many oceans five oceans right so seven continents are present on the earth's surface Asia is the largest continent. Asia is the largest and Australia is the smallest continent on the earth, right? So, uh, we have learned about the continents, we have learned about the oceans, we have learned about the different landforms like highlands, lowlands, plateaus, uh, plateaus, plains, we have learnt about mountains and hills, right? So many things we have learnt about the earth's surface. So let's revise what we have learnt. Globe is a round model of earth. Map is drawing of the earth on the flat surface. Atlas is a special book of maps. Globe and maps are the tools used to study the earth. The large land masses on earth's surface are continents and the water bodies are oceans and we have five oceans and seven continents. So let's move ahead kids. Multiple choice questions. First is choose the correct option. What is the shape of the earth that you all know? It is spherical. Yes. And also fill this circle. I am doing it only once. I am filling the circle for the first question. Rest you need to do on your own. Right. 
which is the largest continent which is the largest continent it is asia very good answers by all of you what does a book of map call it is atlas very nice how many oceans are there that we all know if there are five oceans very good what does the drawing of earth on a flat surface on a paper is called it is map very good going kids now and understanding based question you need to fill up with the proper word dash is a round model of the earth what we call it the round model earth it is globe right on globe globe is the round model of the earth the smallest continent is the smallest continent is australia dash are the large land masses on the earth's surface right what are the large uh, land masses are the continents continents are the large land masses on the earth large map that are huge on wall are i'm so sorry that are hung on walls are called wall maps Dash is the deepest ocean in the world. It is Pacific. Pacific Ocean is the deepest ocean in the world. Got it, kids? Now write true for the correct and false for the incorrect option. A globe is a flat model of Earth. No, it is false. A globe is a round model of the Earth. A globe has some disadvantages too. Yes, this is true. What are these advantages? We cannot uh, carry this uh, globe uh, from one place to other place easily or we cannot see the whole earth at once. Maps are easy to carry. Yes, this is true. And continents are large bodies of water is it so this is false continents are large bodies of land masses got it kids very good so move on to the next it's a question answers round answer the following question and we have already discussed these question in details uh, what are the difference between globe and map? What are continents? Name them. What are oceans? Name them and describe the shape of the earth. We have discussed while explaining the chapters. You can do it on your own, right? So that's it for the today's session, kids. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Stay excited for clamp of another video. Till then, take care and bye.